<laughs> we're in that phase now where it's no longer a medical season of our life. We're actually getting to that place where she's about to walk, she's crawling, you see her crawling, she's standing up everything she can stand up on. We just did our first little vacation with her, which I was really nervous about because it, it is difficult feeding her. She's a little more difficult than a regular baby, but it went really well. Just having a normal baby, um, <clears throat> moving on and having three kids and nobody ever knowing that we went through this traumatic experience. What that means is her jaw was recessed, so it was kind of far back, which caused breathing problems. She was just on her tummy so that the airway would naturally be opened up, and that's kind of how we knew Scarlett for the first nine days was from the backside. That was probably the hardest part about it was knowing that I wasn't going to go home in a day or two like most moms after they have their baby. Parents who have a baby that comes to the NICU, this isn't their dream experience. In their mind, they're going to have a normal newborn, they have their nursery ready, and that isn't what happens to them. The staff was amazing. They were, they were very much there and available for us immediately. And we had a nesting room every night we were there so we could be with her essentially 24-7. I think it's critical because if the family isn't there, then one, they don't have the opportunity to bond with the baby, but secondly, they don't get to participate in the care. And for us, that means defining what does the family need. This isn't our definition of family-centered care, it's really the definition from the family. It wasn't just that they made it happen for us, it's that they made it happen for us without feeling like we were being a burden to them. A couple of the nurses we talked to, um, she was in tears, so the nurse who usually does medical stuff became a therapist for us. We designate primary nurses, so they'll stay with the family during their whole visit. They develop a relationship with them. You know, we've been able to see both of the older kids just really pitch in and, and be big brother and big sister for Scarlett in ways that we probably wouldn't have expected them to be. I just couldn't imagine things being normal, so it feels great that it's, you know, busy with a third child, but normal, and it's good. There's parts of me that looks at her and I think, yeah, she's, she's, a, she's a little feisty fighter. 